Hey, chew that way. Uh, dinner's no fun without Chris here. There's nobody here for me to wing my biscuit at. Well, Peter, he's been spending an awful lot of time with Brian. That's not the same. Anyway, he and Brian have been spending a lot of time together. Really? You gonna let that slide? Guy throws a biscuit at you? Good evening, all. Apologies for being so tardy. Ah, oh, Chris, you're not tardy. We tested you twice. There you guys are. We were wondering about you. Brian and I have been having a blast. First we went to a symphony, then we saw a small independent play with real smoking in it. And then we hit the Quahog Book Festival and went to a Q&A to ask questions that weren't really questions. Wow, look at my sophisticated young man. You're certainly taken to Brian's example. If anything, he's teaching me. <laughs> I mean, not really, but you, you know. I ah, see, I knew Brian could put Chris on the path to success. Hey, Chris, let's celebrate. There's a new baby panda at the zoo. How about you and me go chuck tater tots at it? Chuck him at Lewis. She'll just sit there and take it. <laughs> oh, Dad, that would have been fine for the old me, but Brian and I have to be going. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're off to see an old movie on a temporary screen in a muddy, freezing park. That sounds awful. It is awful, but at least parking will be impossible. Bye! Jeez, I feel like I just lost my son. Ah, uh, I got a skin tag in my crack, and it stings when I don't wipe right. This has been a bad dinner. There you two are. Sit down and join us. I can't stay, Mom. Brian's showing me all of his favorite stuff to do. Getting spooked when the furnace goes on? We're participating in an autism walk. Looks like you're doing it right now. And we may be gone for a while, because after that, we're going down to the Civic Center. Michael Ian Black is cocking his eyebrows for four hours. <laughs> he says the things we don't care to say. Bye! Man, I'm sick of how much time Chris is spending with Brian. Probably smooching pickles. Is there a couple of pickle smooches? It's like he ain't even my son no more, doing all that fancy pants stuff. Oh, Peter, I know you miss him, but this is what you wanted, isn't it? Well, yeah, but I didn't realize bettering himself meant blowing off his old man. You know what? The hell with this. I want my son back. Peter, relax. Chris is just going through a phase. He'll grow out of it, just like you grew out of your walk like an Egyptian phase. Paul was a good man, a good friend. I'll... I'll always remember how supportive he was when... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I can't... I can't... I can't do this. Check it out, Lois. When Chris notices that world's greatest son mug I made, he'll be back on board with his old man in no time. Hey, Chris, what's on the mug? World's greatest son. This world only has one son. What kind of idiot made this mug? Everything's meant to be broken. I just want to know why. It might seem crazy what I'm about to say. I'm very easily influenced by music. All right, Chris, now I know you're all sophisticated now, but no man can resist the siren call of mentally impaired supermodel Kate Upton. Mm, sorry, Dad. I'm more of a Katherine Keener man now. But Chris, you gotta take advantage. The clock's ticking on Kate Upton. She's almost at the end of a window. <laughs> yep, we missed it. Come on, get out of here. <laughs> 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 Giggity-giggity. Giggity-goo. Stick around.